What is up everyone? Welcome back to... Okay, hang on a second. <laughs> I know this isn't my normal attire, but today I felt, you know, a little groovy. This is my, my running attire, I mean, my name is Jonathan Zaharik, and welcome back to the channel. Today, super special video. We're doing two videos, actually, but this one, Boreas Mountain. Now, I know what you're saying. Jonathan, isn't Boreas Mountain on private property at Elk Lake and you can't do it without staying there as a guest? Correct, and that's why we're staying at Elk Lake property as a guest. And when I say we, it is me and Brian Twardy, AKA Brian Hikes All Day. What's up, what's up? We decided to go ahead and spend the weekend here so that we could enjoy ethically and physically to hike Boreas Mountain, Wolf Pond Mountain, and Sunrise Mountain for the Adirondack 100 highest. So since we're kind of pressured for time, I'm gonna explain here exactly what we're doing and everything about that. Let's get going. So today is Friday and the weather is phenomenal. Humidity, super, super low, super blue skies. It's like 70 degrees, but tomorrow is gonna be like 50 mile an hour winds, pouring rain, cloudy. We are staying through Saturday, but we realized we don't want to bushwhack in the rain, so we decided to get here as quick as we could. We're gonna crank out Boreas Mountain and Wolf Pond Mountain, hopefully before our 6 p.m. dinner. It is 1 p.m. right now, and we're gonna to try to do this 10 and a half mile hike in five hours. Shouldn't be too big of a problem, except we're doing a bushwhack, an authentic Adirondack 100 highest bushwhack. And we're moving kind of fast, so just forgive me if I sound out of breath. We're just trying to, you know, book it. This camera that I'm holding right now is huge. So it's not gonna be too easy, but I put some crazy TLC into these videos. I do it for you guys. Last thing I wanna say is if you're not a Patreon member, you should go ahead and become a Patreon member because you guys get access to tons of exclusive content and you get to support my esoteric channel here so that I can keep producing hiking content on YouTube for years to come. The support goes such a long way. I have so many amazing private videos out there that only my Patreon exclusive members can see. So if you're not, for as little as $1 a month, you can support me and get some super awesome exclusive Adirondack content. So with that being said, let's get into the hike. So you're gonna be carrying out the whole time? Yep. So Boreas is about four miles one way. We have a two mile approach to get to the actual trail that ascends the mountain, which we'll probably do here in literally 30 minutes at this speed. And then we have a two mile ascent all the way up to the top. I've heard great things about Boreas. I've always wanted to do it. Today's the day. This is where we'll turn left. You could take Panther Gorge this direction, but now we're gonna turn left instead. So I did mention before that we were doing the Adirondack 100 highest which includes the 54 taller mountains outside of the 46. The other 54 is most certainly more difficult than the 46 because a majority of the other 54 require extensive bushwhacking. And when I say bushwhacks, I don't mean like herd paths. I mean like, like yeah, two hours per mile just pushing through old growth forest and the bugs are still kind of out. Oh, 1.4 mount, 1.4 miles to Boreas? All right, we are at the turn off for Boreas. And the black flies are horrible. Black flies are out. We have two miles or so to the top. One thing I wanna say is the other 54, or the Adirondack 100 highest, is much less hiked than the 46. When I say much less hiked, 16,000 finishers or so for the 46, less than 100 people, registry-wise, for the Adirondack 100 highest. Not necessarily trying to promote bushwhacking and everything like that when I say this, but for those who want to actually have an authentic experience, you want to actually learn how to properly navigate through the woods, bushwhack, and experience the rawness, I would, not financial advice, maybe look into it. Maybe it's something up your alley. But I will say it's not just going up and following a certain track. You actually have to understand how to plot bushwhacks, how to look at maps, and, and navigate through the woods. We are 37 minutes in. Roll that camera. <laughs> Well, without Boreas, I mean, without Wolf Pond, I think it would have been eight miles. So. We are exactly one hour in, and we have just less than a mile to go now to the top of Boreas with 1,300 feet of climbing, so it's gonna get pretty steep. This is my 
where it becomes a trail now. This is probably where it's going to get the seat. I'm actually really liking this ride right now. So we have six tenths of a mile to go with 934 feet left to go. <laughs> so it's gonna get really steep. feet to go. <sighs> Definitely seems like we're approaching the summit now. The top is right up here. Oh, oh my gosh, there's a view. Whoa. I didn't know there was gonna be a view. Not expecting this magni magnificence. Oh. Damn, bro. Congratulations. Boreas number 72 for me, for the 100 highest. Oh, look at that view. I'll show you here in a second what we're looking at. Wow. Right, there's Elk Lake, and that's Macomb in the distance. That's Macomb slide on the left. There's Dix, Huff, Giant there in the background. Nipple Top is There's Nipple Top with Colvin and Blake on the left. And there's the Great Range. Wow. Is that haystack that looks like the pyramid? Yeah. That's a beautiful angle. So it's really buggy up here. I know what you're saying. Jonathan, are you really about to bushwhack in all this clothing? Well, no, I'm not. I'm gonna change real quick. Whew. There we go. Got my Houdini long pants on. And uh, we are ready to bushwhack to Wolf Pond Mountain. It's about one mile there, one mile back. I'm gonna leave my gimbal here on the summit of Boreas, not put it on my backpack. Wait, it's gonna get snagged and everything. Um, so the video from here on out is gonna get just a little bit more shaky. Uh, yeah, you ready to go? You ready to go, Ryan? Oh yeah, there's like 3,000 black flies okay. on me right now. Let's go. <laughs> got my bushwhacking attire on. Got my polarizer lens on here so that it protects my glass. Let's crank this. So I was thinking about putting this exclusively on Patreon, this section of the video, but honestly, I'm talking to the camera, Ryan. But honestly, <laughs> I don't want to do that to you guys. But seriously, you should support, you should join my Patreon page. Ryan's a little crazy for not doing this with his little, with his coat on. All it takes is one scratch to draw blood. <laughs> Uh, carve to the right. Stay, just follow the contour. I think one of the most efficient ways to plot on Cal Topo, in my opinion, is to make sure you have contours on. So the topographical features mixed with slope shading, because then you can weave around and plot according to steepness and rocks and cliffy sections. So look, this is totally tracking right there. Like that's stepped and broken on. So we're definitely where the other people have been. Oh, dude, so, so wide open. I think one of the biggest things with the 100 highest is like you never know if the forest is going to be forgiving or not. Sometimes it's hard to tell by satellite, but this is definitely wide open comparatively to a lot of mountains.
Oh yeah. Okay, we are just over halfway. It's been maybe 25 minutes or so. Whew. 178 feet and three tenths of a mile to go. Okay. And there are tons of horse flies bugging us. Like huge flies. Yeah. Man, I am sweating in this Houdini, but I don't want those horse flies to get me. All right, dude, summit's right here. Right up ahead. Woo! <sighs> yeah, baby. Woo! You see the top? Oh! Uh. So as you can see, the bugs are atrocious. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they're bad. Brian, number 73 for you. 72 for me. Wolf Palm Mountain. I don't think there's a reason to really stay. Ooh, you can see where we just came from. Yeah, you can barely see Boreas right back there. Dude, it actually looks closer than... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is gonna be a pain in the butt to get back there. I'm gonna be sweating my butt off. Look at this. <laughs> Uh, I'm profusely sweating without that thing. I know. <laughs> but the horse flies can't get me. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, this has been Boreas Mountain and Wolf Pond Mountain. It is the highest. I have no reason to put the, the video, the rest of this going back and, and whatever. So thank you guys so much. Like and subscribe if you love hiking content, Northeast stuff. Next video is gonna be Sunrise Mountain that we're actually gonna do right after dinner. So we got more to do today. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Oh, dude, I'm sorry. Woo! I don't want to tape my toe. Oh. All right. We got back to Boreas in an hour, less than two hours round trip. We're going to get back, get dinner. It is 4.58. Yeah. The bugs are eating us alive.